We're here at the CompStick Sentinel control bar system. This is our above the bar depower system. This bar has been in the range for a long time and that's just because it's really, really popular. So I'm gonna run you through all the features on the bar, starting with the chicken loop. So down here on the chicken loop, this is our Sentinel release system. It's extremely easy to engage and then also re-engage the system. Once you've fired it, all you do is a quick little push. That's all it takes. And then to reset, literally just put the pin back in, hit the tab and you're back and fully engaged. You also have your release system here. This is gonna be your kill switch. This is where we recommend all riders attach their leash to is right here so that when you do engage the quick release, you're gonna be locked off to this system. It's your front leader line system and it's gonna flag your kite out completely and you'll have absolutely zero power. Rounding out the chicken loop, we have our donkey dick here. That's gonna just secure your system. If you wanna remove it, it's just a simple Allen key. You can just take it right off and then Allen key put it back in and that will prevent you from falling unhooked. Above our butter box here, we have our below the bar swivel. This below the bar swivel engages super easy. It's got a set of ball bearings inside and just quickly runs through. Then we get up to our grip. This is our moto inspired control bar grip. It's got a softerometer, but it's also extremely grippy and wet and really comfortable. So you don't have too much fatigue. Here we also have our center hole. Our center hole, really great engineered system. It's really soft here. So it's really ergonomic. So when you're flying the bar with two hands or one hand, it's gonna deflect the ropes and prevent any sort of chafing on the inside of your fingers. Beneath it, it's also super dug out. So what that does is that enables you to get a maximum amount of leverage on the bar without binding the lines. That also serves as a way that this swivel will actually jet up in there. It all fits completely flush. That's gonna provide a really nice system for when you're unhooking or you're at max pressure and pulling the bar all the way in. Moving up, we have our deep power ropes. Then you get to your deep power system, this cleat. It's really unique because it's actually fully adjustable. So there's an Allen key here. You can adjust the height. You can push it really far out or you can pull it really far in depending on how much throw you are. If you're a smaller person and you wanna have a shorter throw, you can just move that down, set it, and it'll just be permanently there, which is a great system just in case you don't have as long of arms as other people. One really cool thing about the depower is once you depower the kite and you have this hanging here, we have a magnet here and a magnet here, you can go ahead and tap it in and it will hold it in place so that it's not flapping around and wrapping around all the other lines. What we did this year to change this is we actually inlaid the magnet. We were getting some corrosion there. We've solved that issue by putting the magnet underneath the plastic. It still functions the exact same way, but you're not gonna get that corrosion. Right here, we have our oh shit handles. These are your last resort. So just in case none of your other systems have fired, if you do pull this line, your whole kite will flag and you'll just be sitting there holding onto one. It's a last ditch effort. One thing that you probably don't wanna pull, but it's there just in case everything else has failed and you don't have any other way to save yourself, the oh shit handle will do that for you. On the oh shit handle, we actually have a line lock. This line lock is just a simple piece of Velcro. And what that does is when you're done rolling up your bar, you can finish your lines in there, go ahead and just lock it down. We also have bungees on the end of the bar. That's super nice. You can just go ahead and keeps everything nice and organized. There's nothing more annoying than when you finish the session and you're going back out for another one and your lines are all over the place and all tied in knots and you have to spend a windy session sitting there undoing all of your lines. We also have our really floaty EVA foam floats here. These are extremely floaty. They'll float the entire bar. One really key thing, just in case you ever drop your bar in the water, you wanna make sure that it's gonna float and these do that for you. It's also really soft, just in case you've grabbed here or here when you're coming down from a trick or some sort of a maneuver. One really unique thing about slingshot bars and lines is that we have really, really durable lines. We have 800 pound front lines and then we have 500 pound flying lines. These are gonna be the most durable and most robust lines in the world. So for all these riders that are going out there and pushing the limits of kite loops and big air and extreme wind conditions, these lines are gonna be vital. Make sure you never break a line or snap a line. And at Slingshot, we haven't ever had anyone do that. So you know that you're getting a really premium product. These bars are built to last. You don't see slingshot bars deteriorating. Our EVA doesn't come off. You know, there's a lot of other systems out there that aren't as robust and as durable as this system. And that's one of the reasons that so many people choose the slingshot control bars is because they know that they're getting an incredible value with this product. And that's why it's lasted so long. The Comstick Sentinel control bar is available in a 17 inch bar with 20 meter lines a 20 inch bar with 20 meter lines. It also comes with three meter extensions, just in case you wanna put those on for a little bit more power, or if you wanna keep your line shorter for a little bit better steering. Then we also have a 23 inch bar with 27 meter lines for your bigger kites and really light wind riding.